Hello and welcome to the Garden Gunslinger air gun channel. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to be using my two air guns to shoot a milk bottle full of water and hopefully they explode or something. First, we're using the Webley uh, 22 calibre, these pellets. As you can see, it's gone right through. <laughs> That's really cool. Next gun, I'm going to use the B2, shooting 177. Hopefully the 177 pellets uh, like uh, break the plastic and then it explodes. That'd be really good. Here it is, another clean hit, straight through. It's weird how the no water is coming out of here. I wonder how that works. It's all coming out here. That's cool. So I've lined up three bottles and we're going to shoot it with the rifle and see if the pellet goes all the way through or gets stopped and then it's just at the bottom. It did not go through here. I don't see any entry holes here. Here's the entry hole. And it looks like it cut it. There's a little hole there. But it did not enter this one. So I'm not sure where that pellet's gone. This is going to be my last shot. I'm going to try and shoot through all three with the pistol. Looks like I hit right here. It didn't touch the water at all. Oh, here we go. It went right through this one. Into here. And was stopped in this one. Oh, here it is. It's right at the bottom. This is it. All right, I just wanted to talk about uh, gun safety and the law and how to prepare yourself if you wanted to uh, get some air guns. So you can see here, the bottom of my garden, uh, I've made a um, backstop. So when I shoot stuff, uh, the pellets get caught in the backstop, as you can see. All of these pellets have been jammed in here and they cannot rebound or anything out into the neighbours gardens and more importantly the neighbours windows. If you want to get an air gun and you're under 18 you cannot legally buy one but your parents can. You need to be supervised when you're shooting a air gun. So for example when I'm recording these videos uh, I'm being supervised by my dad. When you buy an air gun, you're going to have to be prepared to store it in a certain way so it doesn't rust. The best way is to pour a little motorcycle chain oil, bicycle chain oil, uh, it doesn't really matter, on a, an old towel or an old tea towel and wrap the gun up in it and it won't rust.